gentlemen, you need a top of it on the card. We're going to have a couple of big years coming out, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen because this is for WKDF, Australian, Australian Super Logan. Heavyweight title. Fighting under full title rules over five two-minute rounds. And fighting out of the ring corner tonight for this title bout. Weighing 100.8 kilos. And with a record of 13 fights for nine wins. From Strike Force Gym. Trained by Mark Tuesdays, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse Thank you, Miles. Got the big boys. Big Robbie Lankin coming out of the blue corner. Jesse Astle, formerly of Orange in New South Wales. Now a strike forward with Mark, and that's two smooth peas. Not too easy. Uh, young Miles coming out of the road. And Robbie's a fairly experienced fighter, but I'll give you guys the early tip. If you haven't seen Astle, he's an absolute gun. So it's going to be a big fight for the defending champion. And Robbie's earned that title too. Big support crowd here too for Rob, by the way. Very popular figure in the Muay Thai industry, as well he should be. Now the referee for this matchup, Mr. Steve Robinson. I saw Robbie's eyes, but he's been around for a while. Yeah, so it's, it's a case of the old line and the young line. And Astle's a very hungry young line. Robbie's been around for a while. He's the Australian champion. He's not going to give that up dearly. Not easily at all. Robbie's a big man. If he hits you, you're going to stay here. Round one. Pushed up by Robbie too. A couple of quick hands and going straight for the knee, okay? Robbie's scoring well, 
early with the young east of the midsections. Now, as you go on, we've noticed, well, we just have a significant weight advantage, but with super heavyweights, that's can sometimes happen. Now, Paul Smart, you lean on um, Jesse at every opportunity to try and sap his strength. Just got the knee up high. There wasn't much in it, but Rob was only a couple of good knees to the midsection here too. My phone is looking pretty composed. That's a nice truck to the midsection by Robbie Lampkin. Just got Jesse off balance, and Rob went in with the lead elbow then. Of course, went for the same elbow that time. That's the a good kick to the midsection. Oh, good punch, sorry, Robbie put the kick. And there's a couple of good Ten right seconds. hands by Astle. And Rob's going to try and recover from this. Been pretty unsteady on his feet. Now uh, the ref scored it off. Rob would be disappointed. But it's not the worst decision I've seen. I'd rather see him call it off but Rob is still on his faculties about him. And it, was, it definitely hurt there. Rob will be disappointed, but look, we're not sending blokes home. Absolutely smash when you don't have to. No. And, um, there's only going to be one result after that knockdown. That's it, mate. Uh, good. Good decision from the ref. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Rob is a 45 veteran, Australian champion, Honey wins, you know, he's had a bloody good career. And, you know, with Jesse Astle, well, this is only the beginning of, of Jesse's career. Yeah, that's it, Tony, totally just started for him. Yeah, unfortunately, as a lot of guys know in our game, you don't go out uh, when you get older, like Rocky Bravo does, you normally get the shit punched out of you. And, you know, unfortunately, that's just happened to Robbie a little bit tonight, you know. Yeah. Well, he's doing well, mate. He's a credit to the sport, this man. Hey, every time he, he still gets in there and gives it a good go. Yeah, that's right. And he's won 20 fights. That's 20 more than a lot of guys. Ladies and gentlemen, with referee Steve Robinson calling a halt to the bat in the first round, the winner of the day WKBF Australian Super Heavyweight title goes to the red corner, Jesse Astin! <laughs> Well, it's a bit of a gun, Jesse, but we'll see a lot more of this from this kid in the future. I think he's only 20 or 21 or something. He's definitely got a bright future ahead of him. Yeah.